screen. You know, I think longtime fans are used to seeing, you know, that this is a hostile area and that, you know, that red bar underneath the compass. But this is a distrust area. Um, what That's exactly right. does that mean as opposed to a restricted area, which we see now? So distrust areas uh, don't attack you on site necessarily. If you keep a certain distance from guards or from um, uh, authoritative figures of that location, they won't attack you right away. They might even like ask you to back off. Uh, but if you break that or if you stay too long, they'll start attacking on site. So these are usually the best places to uh, wear cloaks or to use you know stealth mechanics for sure. Or, you know, just kill them. Option B. Always option B. Yeah, that's <laughs> no problem. Aerial assassinate. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. It's so good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, here comes some more. Pulling out the bow. Oh, nice shot. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I like it. <laughs> Uh, now, did you have fun with these dual axes, Yusuf? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, the dual axes to me was, uh, I mean, I didn't have a weapon, there wasn't a weapon combo I didn't enjoy. Uh, the dual axes definitely seemed like a very high damage output build, though, um, and uh, felt, felt very Viking-ish, if, if I must admit. Jess, what's your vibe? What do you like to, do you have a weapon preference? Do you have a style preference when you go into combat? Um, it's hard to say. Typically, I revolve around, like, a two-handed axe, like a big axe. Those are kind of my favorite. Uh, but what's cool with, our, uh, with the game in general is if you hold, um, what is it? Is it right, it's right bumper or trigger? I forget what we call the ability. Sorry about that. But essentially, the combination will do a special attack. And the special attacks vary on the weapons that you're equipped. Uh, there's some also for solo weapons. So I really like the one for uh, two-handed axe. But uh, hammer are also my second choice. She's in template belt. Nice. You like she the heavy hitters. Hiding. Yep, yep. So, Chris, we, we've broken, we found out who Ivar's uh, uh, scout was, and it turns out to be Cheo Berg, who's Cheo Wolf, the king we're hoping to install's son. Uh, and he was kind of trying to prove himself. He's not very uh, battle-hardened at all. And so he kind of went out on a limb here and put himself in a dangerous position to uh, to try to scout out Burgard's location. And uh, we, we kind of had to bail him out of it. Uh, but now we have a new tip um, on where the queen uh, actually is, Burgard's wife. Um, and we, you know, the theory is that if we can find her, she can maybe tip us off to where Burgard is. Okay. I thought there was going to be like some light abduction happening here, but no, you're just going to try to, you're just going to go talk to her. I'm sure it'll be fine. Sure uh, they're, they're, you know, don't, don't, you know, count out any light abductions yet, Chris. <laughs> we said passive, passive takeover. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, non-violent. No. <laughs> non-violent may have been a strong word. Maybe, uh, you know. Force is uh, deceitful. <laughs> sure. Alexis yeah. Dupree in the Twitch chat is asking, "Can I play this game just using a bow?" I did that in Odyssey and loved it. What do you think? I don't. I don't see why not. Uh, from my experience, you know, there's going to be some obstacles. I think there's a couple of bosses also that warrant hand-to-hand uh, -hand so combat. Sure. We might have some events also where it's like fist fighting. Don't bring a bow to a fist fight. That's not a thing. <laughs> but you know, don't do it. <laughs> um, but in general, I would say I think it's pretty viable and the skill tree also allows you to have certain abilities or uh, skills and you know I think yeah for sure now when we're looking at this is something I noticed before but when you're looking at these enemies we see some glowing like an element of their ar their arsenal is glowing is that a way to sort of like communicate what kind of enemies you're facing it certainly has helped that yes once you use um, an ability to see your surroundings. It'll highlight either uh, weak points, it'll highlight their weapons, so it gives you at least an idea as to what you're jumping into, <laughs> which can be really important. There's so many archetypes. You don't want to run into, what was it, the Goliath <laughs> too often yeah. without knowing. <laughs> yeah, surprise Goliath. Nobody likes that. No. <laughs> yeah, knowing what kind of fight you're in for is, is definitely a good thing to, uh, to have ahead of time. And uh, the way you do that this time around, right, Jess, is, is with Odin sight, uh, not necessarily with That's scouting right. with your, your eagle or your raven, right? Right. Uh, definitely for mid to close uh, scouting. The Odin site is your go-to. Uh, it pulses also, you know, everything that's uh, related to exploration. So chests that are nearby, it also reveals what kind of wealth it is from a distance. Um, so it really tells you a lot of information, both for combat and for exploration purposes. Um, 
I definitely recommend that. Raven is mostly to yes. scout out Could far locations, friend. see what you're dealing with, you know, in terms of a territory, in terms of um, how big a castle help. can be, or finding Anymore? entrances to caves. Your ladyship? Nice. Do not mind me. I'm only here to count my spoils. <laughs> it shows up I love, I love this scene. <laughs> Uh, still trying. Ivar, what the heck, man? The pigs are there too? Oh, so we're interrogating Aylesworth so here, essentially about where her husband is, and Ivar comes in with what kind of a power move? Kind of a, a negotiation <laughs> tactic? <laughs> I want to tell this dude my secrets already. Just make him stop with the pigs and the heads. My, my god! Yeesh. Get me out of here! Please! Talk now, and we'll draw you a nice warm bath. You are asking me to betray my husband. How can I do that? If you don't, you will betray countless others. In legend, you may be remembered as the king and queen who abandoned their kingdom in its darkest hour. Oh, but there will be peace. This is Cheowulf's promise, and it will be honored. You have my word. Talking about putting that lady in a tough position. But hey, it was effective, oh, yeah. and you didn't have to, like, you know, break out the dual shields. No, only three people <laughs> need to be beheaded, Chris. I mean, it's a win. It's a net win. <laughs> net win. <laughs> oh, right, win so, uh, but what, Her information tipped us off that uh, Bergerin is in a, uh, is down here in this crypt hiding out. Uh, so we're going to infiltrate it and to, uh, try to try to find him. Wow, really disposing of the body very quickly there. I like that. Instant, cre Instant cremation. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, R.I.P. All right, so down into the crypt on the trail of the king. Uh, this is just like doing a little swimming, doing a little looting. Let me see if we can get another uh, Oh, yeah, there's some wealth down there, Chris. Got to get that wealth, baby. All right. Uh, AD Cogs is asking about... HUD possibility, and like, yes, you could. There's a lot of HUD cost customization available. Uh, if you check out that article I posted earlier, it's an article on news.ubisoft.com about accessibility. It has a ton of information about different customization options. I'll put it in the Twitch chat or just find it on news.ubisoft.com. You can go for that. We got a new weapon, Chris. Like, oh, yeah, I gotta check out the Fury Spear. Free speed when dodging. All right. All right. Work on the range. I like the spear because it just keeps them, keeps them a little bit away. You can poke them. Hey, hey, wait. Away. Oh. Ah! No, you don't. All right. So we're we seeing a little. Was that a little bit of a hidden blade in action there? Except that it, since it's a little bit trickier, you won't be able to one shot him at this point. Yeah. The skirm. The we're we're. We're tangling with some tougher foes. Uh, is it the situation where the hidden blade you kind of upgrade it over time, or you as you level up it gets more powerful? Um, I think its abilities mostly in the skill tree that will be able to enhance it. It's it's more about the difficulty of the enemy versus your own. Um, and uh, we give some options in order to enhance that. I think the previous demo also showed it. Um, you can have a chance to one-shot uh, based off of a, a mini-game. Uh, it's one of the examples we have for the uh, Hidden Blade. Different ways to no. implement that. No, no, right. no, he can't You found your guy! Stay back! Oh, yes. That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to flatter me? <laughs> Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. That's the last thing you want to hear when you start to fight someone. <laughs> if you insist. So just like you said, like this is this is a fight that you couldn't use a bow in because again we have to take you have to take Burger alive. So uh, he's coming at Avor with a sword and shield, and Avor is just uh, handling him with a fighting with back. <laughs> yeah. uh, some folks in chat noticed this earlier, uh, but I liked that move when you were just before you got in here, you like shot a dude in the knee because it was the weak spot, and that opened up that stun attack. Jess, talk to me about this. Are, do, do enemies have weak spots to present themselves? Is this something you kind of you kind of open up as you're fighting? Right. Yes. So enemies do have weak spots, especially with the the bow, is something you can uh, aim with. And once you get the weak spots, it'll uh, reduce the defense bar significantly. And if that bar is completely reduced, you'll get to do a sun attack afterwards. 
There's a couple variations of this that come also with the main skills uh, in the skill tree, uh, but that's, you know, the basic of it, and then after that it builds upon itself uh, as you play. Nice. Oh, you got a packet Yeah, and Chris, I really like using the light bow for that, because it, it really allows you to fire off shots quick. And, Super you know, quick, yeah. It can be, yeah, like it can be great for nailing those, those weak spots. I beg of you, please, I'll go anywhere. Here. 